welcome to all the participants from Ritambra Wellness as well as the School of Ancient Wisdom. This is our very first program that we are doing with the school and will be the start of many more to come. Both organizations have a common goal of spreading awareness on well-being and happiness and through the process of self-discovery and personal transformation. The school is known as a global center for personal transformation. Before we introduce today's speaker, dancer, we'd like to tell you a little bit about Ritambra Wellness and the School of Ancient Wisdom. Ritambra Wellness is a collective of like-minded individuals from various walks of life who've come together on this mission of achieving human wellness and well-being through a holistic approach. An approach that believes that well-being is not just about the body, but the mind as well. And our solutions lie in the practice of knowledge and wisdom that comes from our ancient Indian scriptures and heritage. At Ratambara, we place great emphasis on arts and culture, music and dance especially, since we believe there is a direct link to this practice and our inner higher selves. With this intent of holistic well-being, we conduct virtual and live corporate programs and group retreats for wellness that empower oneself through self-discovery and personal transformation for unlocking one's true potential. Please visit our website, rutambrawellness.com for more details. Also, our earlier webinars are uploaded on YouTube under the same name. If you resonate with what we are doing and would like to be part of our community, we are posting the details of where you can connect with us on the chat. This is for both organizations, the Ritambara Wellness, as well as the School of Ancient Wisdom. Alternately, please post your contact details, cell number, email, ID on the chat function, and we'll add you to our groups. A little bit about the School of Ancient Wisdom. It's a place that's very close to our hearts. Many of us has, have benefited from the teachings of the founder, Ma Manize. It's a beautiful space of over nine acres at Devanahalli, Bangalore conceived by the masters and translated into reality by our founder, Ma Manise. Ma Manise has touched several lives with her all-encompassing love and guidance. The school offers itself as a haven for knowledge sharing, discussion, and assimilation to help one live in alignment with the natural order and with oneness. Now back to today's program, may I request everyone to stay muted through the talk. Today's session will be for 60 minutes. Mrs. Vamsi Madhvi will talk with us and demonstrate her dance for 40, 45 minutes, after which there'll be a Q&A session for 15 minutes. Please, please feel free to post your questions using the chat function and we'll take up the questions immediately after the talk. Now to start the program, may I request Mr. Ram Menon to say the school prayer and he's the managing trustee of the School of Ancient Wisdom. Ram? Oh, hidden life, vibrant in every atom. Oh, hidden light, shining in every creature. Oh, hidden love, embracing all in oneness. We each who feels himself as one with thee, no, he is also one, every other. Thank you so much, Ramji. Thank you so much. Now, may I request Sri Krishnapani Kesi Raju, our program director of Ritambra Wellness, and one of our spiritual guides and facilitator of many programs at the School of Ancient Wisdom, to introduce our artist for the day, Mrs. Vamsi Madhvi. Over to you, Krishnapani ji. Good evening uh, to all the participants in this webinar. It is my pleasant duty to introduce uh, Ms. Vamshi Madhavi. Ms. Vamshi Madhavi, an alumni of the reputed Kalakshetra, pursued both Kuchipudi and Bharatanatyam dance forms for more than 14 years. She's a gold medalist from Kalakshetra, Chennai, where she completed her post-graduation in dance between the years 1998 and 2001. She had performed in multiple Kalakshetra dance dramas in India and abroad. Ms. Madhavi is the recipient of National Scholarship for the, from the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. 
Madhavi got trained in Kuchipudi under her guru, the late Sri Hemadri Chidambaradi Kshitulu, who hailed from the village Kuchipudi in Andhra for about eight years. She later got initiated into Bharatanatyam under her guru Rama Sri Kant and Padmam Bhushan C. V. Chandrasekhar sir and was a part of their productions. Madhavi portrayed the leading roles in Kalakshetra dra dance dramas like Sita in Shabari Moksham, Rukmini in Rukmini Kalyanam and Devadasi in Purandaradasa. Ms. Madhavi propagates the dance forms through her organization Kala Sanskriti. Now, uh, I would like to add a personal note here that uh, I have uh, had the privilege of knowing uh, Ms. Madhavi for the past 12 years. Over the past 12 years, she is my neighbor and a person with a very pleasant and courteous demeanor and a very happy disposition and totally dedicated to her art. Thank you so much. It's, may I now request uh, Binaji to conduct the program further? Thank you so much, Paniji. So, Vamsi ji, uh, we, what we'd like to hear from you is if you can take us on, tell us a little bit about yourself and your life journey, your journey into dance and your connection with dance when you are, when you are actually performing. So I welcome you all for this evening's uh, performance. And uh, first of all, I would like to uh, congratulate Rutumbra Wellness Center for creating such a wonderful platform for all the artists, artistic engagements happening here, which is so crucial now at this point of time, these trying times. So I'm extremely thankful for this foundation for giving me this uh, opportunity. I was asked to share uh, my artistic journey uh, my, throughout my life. And uh, I should say that uh, in the first instance, I will have to first tell that uh, I need to thank my parents. I think that is the foundation because uh, the kind of ambience what they created during my childhood. My mother being a writer, she's a poetess. They are very avid, uh, they had very keen interest towards arts. And they could notice that I had that kind of aptitude towards uh, dance or music. It has been a part of our uh, childhood throughout. I mean, we are uh, great admirers of uh, Balmuli Krishna, so the entire Dave used to keep hearing his music. I think that definitely made a huge impact on my childhood and the kind of uh, resonance I have with music or the kind of response I make for, I do for music. So when they noticed that I had that kind of uh, aptitude towards dance or music, my father who worked for ONGC, a, uh, Central Government Agency, Corporation. He got transferred from Dehradun to Rajamandri, Coastal Andhra, be, belonging to Coastal Andhra. And I was initiated into the form of Kuchipudi under Guru Hemadri Chidamba Dekshatalu, who hails from the Kuchipudi village. I was blessed to have a teacher uh, of such depth and patience that uh, he had given lots of exposure to us. The kind of exposure and the training what we had, probably I wouldn't have understood at that point of time during my childhood. But it definitely paved. I mean, it definitely had a great uh, impact on the way I have shaped into an artist. Later, after getting trained in uh, Kuchipudi, for around seven to eight years, we got transferred to Gujarat, Baroda. And that's where uh, I got introduced to Professor C.B. Chandrasekhar sir, who is the prime disciple of uh, Rukmi Devi Arundel. And uh, that's when uh, I was initiated into this form of Bharatanatya. 
rather than changing the existing style of a learned form like Kuchipudi, that was when I was advised to learn a new style under his uh, senior disciple, Rama Shrikanji. And I was very fortunate uh, to have participated in their dance dramas uh, of both uh, Chandrasekhar sirs and Rama Shrikanji. Having the training of Kuchipudi had helped me to be a part of their uh, dance dramas. And then after two years, on the advice of uh, Chandrasekhar sir, I had enrolled myself in the Premier Institution in Chennai for arts, fine arts and performing arts Kalakshetra. That's where I had joined. And I think that is one of the turning points of my life. Definitely, I could say that because the kind of ambience what you have in an institution like Kalakshetra, it's very holistic. The kind of teachers, the dedicated teachers over there, the kind of architecture what you find, the entire ambience is it definitely shapes you and impacts you in a very deep level we used to have we used to be trained in music in uh, i think in varied allied forms of not just dance but very allied forms of arts so that was very complete i could say and most of all not just the foundation what we had uh, been trained in kalakshetra but also the kind of uh, dance dramas which used to happen in the month of December. I think all the artists all over the world, all over from India, everyone were invited. And as aspiring students of dance, you don't know how it was. The kind of uh, every student got absorbed in the nuances, in the excellence of what they had offered to us. I was also very fortunate to have taken part in the dance dramas, portraying some lead roles like uh, Sita in Sabri Moksham, Rukmini in Rukmini Kalyanam, and many more dance dramas. I think it's not just portraying a role, but it's, it's the entire process of learning which could really make an impact. And after my training, which I did for four years and then two years, I, be, I came to Hyderabad after getting married. And I had been in touch. I had been constantly practicing my form, Bhatnatyam, and also music. Music has also been a part of my life throughout the dance journey. And also I had been pursuing since past two years, Vilasni Natyam under Guru Anupama Kailash. So this is a nutshell of my journey and there's a long way to go. I sincerely pray and I hope that I continue this with all the perseverance. Thank you. I would like to begin my performance now with uh, Pushpanjali. A Pushpanjali uh, symbolizes offering of flowers to the Ranga Devata. Pushpanjali in Ragam Nate. Pushpanjali is composed in pure rhythmic syllables. Pushpanjali in Ragam Nate. I'll be performing now. I'm not 
and Yagrapat. Vichitar goes on to describe the Lord as the one wearing the Ganges and the moon, the one with the blue neck. He is the foundation of all sacred places and Lord of all living beings and elements. He is death in tiger skin, lives in Chidambaram, and is the Lord of the universe, Vishweshwara. He is compassionate with a soft heart and is praised in Veda. He is free of all desires and expounded the Advaita philosophy. He derives pleasure in music and his cosmic dance causes life and beyond. Ananda Natana Prakashan in Ragam Kedar. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 